Hello everybody, welcome to Stories by Shelley. How are you doing? Ooh, look at our new story today. Does it look like a goodie? It does, doesn't it? So our story today is called Giraffes Can't Dance. Do you think giraffes can dance? What do you think? Do you like to dance? I like to dance. So our story is called Giraffes Can't Dance and it's by Giles Andrea and Guy Parker Reese. Let's have a look what our story is all about. Can you see the monkeys? Oh, aren't they having fun? Giraffes can't dance. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim. Look at his neck there. But his knees were awfully bandy and his legs were rather thin. Look there. Gerald's looking over at the African savanna and wondering what the animals are doing, I'm sure. Who do you think is hiding in the tree there? Are there a pair of monkeys? Who is this hiding in the grass? What is that? He was very good at standing still and munching shoots of trees. Munch, munch, munch. Mmm, that's so yummy. But when he tried to run around, uh, he buckled at the knees. Uh, oof! <gasps> Look there, he fell down. Oh, Gerald! Oh dear! Now every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance, where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. What animals can you see? There's some zebra. Um, what are those? Yes, the hippo. What about these ones? Do you know what they are? <laughs> and this year, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. Oh dear, Gerald wasn't that good at dancing. I wonder, maybe he just needs a little bit of practice, hey? The war talk started waltzing. The rhinos rock and rolled. Woohoo! The lions danced the tango, which was elegant and bold. Look at the lions going. <laughs> the lions are dancing. The chimps all did the cha 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 with a very Latin feel. Ole! And the eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Look at them, all dancing away. Gerald swallowed bravely <gasps> and he walked towards the floor. But the lion saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look, it's clumsy Gerald. The animals all began to laugh. Giraffes can't dance, you silly. Oh, Gerald, don't be so daft. Oh no, everybody's laughing at Gerald. They say he can't dance. Shame! Let's give him a try. He can at least try to dance. Gerald simply froze up. <gasps> he was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh well, I feel, I feel like such a clot. Oh, poor Gerald. He now feels sad. So he crept off the dance floor and he started to walk home. He never felt so sad before. So sad. 
and all alone. There he goes. Oh, poor Gerald. I'm sure you can try. Don't worry about what the animals say. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. Oh, the moon is, can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. And then, crick, crick. Excuse me, coughed the little cricket, who had seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass. And listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So the little cricket is telling him to listen to everything. Listen to what's around you. So imagine that that lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. Why don't you close your eyes? Close your eyes now and listen. What do you hear? Can you hear maybe the soft tweets of the birds in the distance? Or is someone playing a piano? Can you hear the wind blowing in the grass? Or maybe the sounds of cars driving past? With that, the cricket smiled and he picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles in the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing around. What is Gerald starting to do? Is he dancing? Does he feel the music? He threw his arms out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault oh, and he leapt up in the air. Look at Gerald, he's jumped up into the sky. Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I'm dancing! Yes, I'm dancing! I'm dancing! Gerald cried. And look how high he is. Can you see the other animals? There's the lion, the rhino, the hippo. He's high above in the sky, dancing away. And he's so happy. Look, look at this bat. He's like, hey! What are you doing in the sky? You're so high up here. What are you doing, Gerald? Then one by one, each animal who had been at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on down and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle! <gasps> we must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. And look at him with all these dancing moves. He's doing the disco, the disco shuffle, whoop, whoop. What do you call this dance? Isn't it called the dab, hey? The giraffe dab? What would you call this dance? The one-legged twirly twirl? What would you call that? And all the animals are watching. They can't believe how amazing it is. How is it that you can dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twizzled around and finished with a bow. And then he raised his head and he looked up at the moon and stars above. We can all dance, he said, when we find the music that we Love. Oh, oh, I love that story, don't you? So I think everybody must go out and find the music that you love. Find something that moves you, gets your tail twisting round. 
I hope you enjoyed our stories today, everybody. We'll see you again next time. Thanks for joining Stories by Shelley. Bye-bye, everybody.